Table for six, please. Brack and Reed is arranging a bachelor party for Constable Tucker. We spent most of the day in the fake oyster bar with everybody crowded around, joking and having fun with stuff. <laughs> the arm wrestling scene was a fun gag as well to have him just get whooped. He brings them to the bar thinking this is better than going to the burlesque. We can drink beer, eat some oysters. But it turns out to be less so when the body falls out of the barrel. William comes to find out about the illegal establishment at the brothel. Of course, Murdoch and the fact that the crime has been committed has to sort of piece together what happened and try not to offend. You're not arresting me for running a body house? Not if you cooperate. I never realized that the word body comes from bordello. Did you all realize that? The whole night is a bit of a blur, if I'm honest. You learn something every day on Murdoch Mysteries. You took your constables to a bordello? He may be the boss of the station, but let's get clear here. Margaret's the boss at home. That back and forth between Tom and I is so wonderful. And I mean, now that we've been playing together for so long, we can have so much fun with those moments. My sweet tooth is ravenous. We like to give Violet a few happy moments. She's kind of going off and doing some different things. We see her outside the morgue a lot. She finds uh, another love interest. There's a whole new vibe with her. As they say, all work and no play. <laughs> there is a troublesome client of the clinic who is not satisfied with Julia's service because she won't prescribe her cocaine. My medicine has vanished from the chemist's shelves. People were using cocaine in it, not realizing it was not outlawed yet. You do not need cocaine. It's just very hilarious. What was that about? Murdoch Mysteries. All new episode every Saturday at 7 on Ovation.